You up here eating Takis all day with all that red dye in it, but you wondering why your skin look a mess and your pee stank. But you know what? I'm not even finna go there today. Drink your water, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of your body, okay? Don't go out wasting your money on no skincare. Talking about you trying to get your skin together. Get your body together first, right? I need transport. Transport is on the way. All right, so I just got out of the tub, just got through taking my bath, got on my wrinkled pajamas, face all dry, because I just did my facial and all that stuff while I was in the tub. So now we finna get into some skincare, nighttime skincare, and I'm gonna be using some new stuff that I got from Ipsy. I'm also going to be using a moisturizer that I received in PR from Beauty Stat. It's a peptide wrinkle relaxing moisturizer. It lifts, firms, and smooths. And we're going to be trying that out today. So we're going to try that out along with this face oil that I got from Ipsy. And this lip therapy product that I received from Ipsy. So those are all the new products that I'm gonna use. So let's get started. All right, now first things first, I need to put some on these lips because as you can see, I'm looking like Pookie. <laughs> so let me get a little bit of these. Put it on my finger. Oh, that's too much, but you get the gist. I know I'm not gonna use all of these, so. Got a peppermint scent. Oh, girl. <laughs> My face so ashy. Hmm, I like this. And I still got all this left. I put too much on my finger. I hate when I do that. <laughs> Let me wipe this off, child, because it's too much. And um, none of my children is here, so I can't call one of them in here so they can use it. You know, I just, I don't like to waste stuff. But anyway, <laughs> all right, now let's get to the skincare. All right, first things first, I'm going to be using my Topicals um, Ingrown Tonic. I use that around my chin area because this is where I get hairs um, on my face. You know, I am a woman of a particular age, so, you know. We have certain things that we go through. Now, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, just keep on living, baby. <laughs> You'll get there. I'm going to rub that in. I've been using this for a while. I do see, notice the difference in how my, um, the hair grows now. It doesn't grow as thick and coarse, so that's a good thing. But yeah, that's the Topicals Ingrown Tonic. It has salic salicylic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc in this um, product. So if you're a woman that, you know, gets ingrown hairs and stuff on your face or something like that or in your private area i would highly recommend that you get these next i'm going to be using my sephora um, vitamin e tonic lotion i'm using this as my um toner today Let me get my little my little pad okay and we just gonna rub this all over the face i like my my pad to be kind of extra wet 
extra moist okay and i like this because when i exfoliate my face my skin is very dry and you see how much moisture this is putting back into my skin already you could tell and i like to go heavy on the spots where oh Girl, not a boogie in my nose. Girl, a mess. And I like to go heavy in the spots that get real dry, which is like my T-zone area. And like around my nose and all up in here. Yeah. And especially up under my eyes. Because dry under eyes is a no-no. As you see, every fine line, and it, ugh, it's not cute. So, yeah, that's the toner that I'm using today. And it says it's skin perfecting. And again, that's the Sephora Vitamin E Toner. All right, next I'm doing my serum. I'm doing the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. <laughs> Anytime I exfoliate, um, when I wash my face in the tub, I don't use my exfoliating serum because I do have a serum um, and it's by Good Molecules also. That's an exfoliating serum. So I'm going to use this one tonight. This is the first serum that I ever got from them. I'm actually, Good Molecules is, is starting to become one of my favorite skincare brands. Like they're very inexpensive for um quality skincare because the stuff is good the stuff actually works like for real i love this serum look at the skin get it on <laughs> Oh, and this um, serum, it says it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And again, it's by Good Molecules. And this serum is only like $10, $10, $11, something like that. It's not even high. Get into it. All right. Next, I will be using my moisturizer. And this is Beauty Stat. Um, peptide wrinkle relaxing moisturizer. Okay, let's try these, honey. It's kind of thick. I love thick moisturizers for nighttime. Let's see if that's going to be enough. I'm not going to add any oil or anything to it tonight because this is my first time trying it out. So, I want to see how it... Since it's for wrinkles and stuff, of course, we're going to focus it right here in the middle. Where I have the most wrinkles. Because I have the most wrinkles up under here, right here, and like, yeah. And definitely on my forehead, see? Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't have a smell. It's thick, but I don't, I don't know. It says it smooths. It kind of did, though, on the sleep, though. Because my face isn't as shiny as it was before I put it on. Okay. All right. Next. All right. Next, I will be using the Sephora Brightening Eye Cream. I got this little tool. I think I got these either from Amazon or Timu. And I use these so I won't have to, you know, always put my finger in the product. Because that's not really sanitary. I feel like it's okay to do like every now and then, but to like keep putting your finger in there over and over, like nah. Y'all know I like to bring my eye cream 
down around my nose and in my smile lines as well. Because I have smile lines. Now I'm going to use this end to rub it in. Let's go. And I like to get right all the way up under there. And I love to use eye creams like this at night. Like thick ones that could just sit for a while. And then I just rub the excess on down. And I like to bring it all the way up over here because I have like this dip on the side of my eyes. So I try to make sure that's hydrated as well. See? And with this little ball on the end, it kind of helps disperse the product evenly. Child, better go in my eye. And see, I like to get all, you see why I got them fine lines in right here? I'm sorry I gotta make this face, but that's what I have to do so you can see. See, I got, cause I have bags up under my eyes and it's hereditary. So, just like the moles on my face, that's hereditary. If you saw my grandmother, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> my grandmother has a lot of them. They're like all, like all over her face, like right here. And for some reason, my mama don't really have them. So, it's like it skipped to my mama and my sister don't really have a lot of moles, but I do, so. So now I'm gonna take my finger and really melt it into the skin. I don't like to cap too hard. Bam. And this is the Sephora Brightening Eye Cream. It has um, hyaluronic acid in it also. And you know that's for hydration. This is it. All right, next we're going to try this face oil that we got from Ipsy. This is the Nina face oil. So let's apply it to the face. Let's see. Is it a thin oil or? Oh, yeah, it is kind of thin. All right, let's put some in our hand. Because I don't want to apply the tip directly to my face. Not with this light oil, anyway. Now for those thicker oils, I put them, I put it right on my face because I don't like using too much of those oils. Because with them thicker oils, a little bit go a long way. And I like to rub my oils into my eyebrows. You know, you got to put some product in the eyebrows too now. You don't want your eyebrows in to be all dry, and flaky. Because a lot of times that's how we lose our eyebrow hairs. They'll be all dry and stuff. And then when you get rid of your makeup, you going in there with the pencil and stuff and be pulling all the hairs out. <clears throat> so you got to put a little oil in your brows at night. Sometimes I like to brush some in. But I'm not going to sit up here and act like I do that every single night when I'm doing my skincare. Because I don't. But a lot of times I will, like at the end of my oil stage, I'll take whatever's left over and I'll just like press it into my brows. I really should be like brushing it into my brows every day. But I don't really need to because my brows are kind of thick. But when I was growing them back, babe, I did not play. I let somebody arch my eyebrows, baby. And they had my eyebrows so thin, girl. It had me look like I was trying to be in Paris Fashion Week or something. I'm just like, why is my eyebrow? <laughs> so, child, I do my eyebrows myself now. I don't let nobody do my eyebrows no more. They be trying to do what they want to do. You tell them how you want your brows to look. They be up there, well, it'll look better if you get an arch. I didn't tell you I wanted no arch. Child. 
<sighs> anyway. And that's another thing, too, that's key to skincare. Drink water. Okay? Because I don't give a damn what products you make. I mean, you, uh, I don't care what products you use. You can have a skincare regimen. I mean, baby, you could be on it. You could do daytime and nighttime. But, baby, if your body on the inside ain't good, it will tell in your skin. I'm dead. <laughs> So don't go out spending all your money on those skincare products, but you still don't drink water. Okay? Don't be don't be looking for no results. Cause it, it starts with the inside first. If you if you're not treating the inside of your body right, the outside of your body is gonna expose you. So don't be thinking, oh, I'm gonna go out and spend all this money on this skincare stuff and my skin just gonna start looking good. Uh-uh, baby. Drink some water. It's rich in vitamin E with bacchul, bacchul, baby, I can't, I can't pronounce that. And I ain't even gonna sit up here and play with myself. 